In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for K2S plus HCl. This is potassium sulfide plus hydrochloric acid. So the first thing we need to do with these net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. I can see there's two potassium atoms here and just one here. So let's put a two in front of the KCl. Now we've balanced the potassium atoms, but we have two chlorines. If we put a two here, two chlorines, two hydrogens. We have two hydrogens here, so that's good. We have a sulfur and a sulfur, we're done. That's the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So sulfides in general are insoluble, but group one elements like sodium, potassium, they're the exception. They do dissolve, break apart into their ions. Put a little AQ. HCl, hydrochloric acid, is a strong acid. You should recognize that. It'll be a strong electrolyte, break apart into its ions as well. Chlorides, potassium compounds, both usually very soluble. And then this H2S, you'd have to know that H2S here forms a gas in this reaction. So because it's a gas, we'll put the G after it there. These are the states for our net ionic equation. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table, one plus sulfide, two minus. So we have two potassium ions, 2K plus. I'll write aqueous later, plus the sulfide ion, S2 minus, and then hydrogen group one, one plus chloride ion. There's the one minus. Two hydrogen ions, and that two goes to everything, so we have two chloride ions as well. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. Products, we have a plus and a minus here. So two potassium ions again, and the two goes to everything, so two chloride ions. For gases, liquids, and solids in net ionic equations, we don't split those apart, so we're just gonna have H2S. And this is what we call the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I look here, I see two potassium ions in the reactants and in the products, cross those out. Two chloride ions here in the reactants and in the products. Let's cross those out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for K2S plus HCl. Let me clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for K2S plus HCl, potassium sulfide plus hydrochloric acid. You can see charge is balanced. We have this two minus here, two times one plus, that's two plus. So that all gives us a net charge of zero here, and this is a neutral compound. The atoms, they're balanced as well. One last thing, we said in our equation here that this was a gas. If you assumed that this was aqueous, you still wouldn't split it apart because it's a weak acid. So in that case, you just have AQ instead of G. So just kind of a minor thing there, we wouldn't split this apart either way. So our net ionic equation, whether we have aqueous or a gas, look pretty much just like this with the exception of the state symbol. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.